A year ago, we told you about an unusual wedding inside a San Francisco hospital ward. Also, that a terminally ill father could walk his daughter down the aisle. Well, now Nightbeak's Kristen Ayer shows us the bride has lost her father, but she's gotten so much more. Thank everybody in here. You set me up. <laughs> it was a day when in sickness and in health took on a whole new meaning. I'm just happy for my daughter. November 16th, 2017, Venice Stanton's terminally ill father, Preston Rowland, walked her down the aisle the only way he could in his hospital ward at UCSF Medical Center, which the nursing staff transformed into a chapel. Remembering his smile that day and his joy for that day definitely supersedes any of those other images that I may have of him with his illness. Three weeks later, Preston died of leukemia, but Venice and her husband Douglas say the memory of that day lives on. It's what inspired their nonprofit a few months later. They call it Stanton Standards. We provide lasting memories for family members uh, that have a loved one with a terminal illness. Their first patient, this woman, Yvonne, she's suffering from a heart condition and has been given a year to live. She said, I would just like to go to dinner one good time. The Stantons partnered with Oakland Southern Cafe Restaurant and made it happen, a soul food dinner and a tribute to Yvonne from the people closest to her. People only tell these stories like that at funerals and for you to tell somebody that story before that time has passed, it, it means so much to her. She was like, I haven't felt so appreciated and so celebrated in so long. Now, they're on a mission to raise money on their website for a second patient, a mother with advanced ovarian cancer whose time is running out. We're looking forward to doing what we can for her uh, in the coming weeks. They say they know from experience how important a lasting memory is. Those moments are priceless. Kristen Ayers on the Night Beat.